running was always there. And so it was my way of communicating with Armstrong. It was my time. Many people run to clear their minds. Rick Zortman is constantly thinking as his feet hit the ground. I've ran every letter in the alphabet. It took me a while to get Q, but I finally got Q. He doesn't care about distance or speed. His steps follow a mapped path. 352 names so far. Sheets of requested names. Writ, Marilyn, Abel. Many of them victims of pediatric cancer. When my son got sick and he passed away, you know, I didn't know what I was going to do. Zorman's son Armstrong was a vivacious three-year-old, a little boy who loved to run. A seizure led to the devastating discovery of brain cancer and these words from a doctor. Months later, April 2009, Armstrong had become very sick. Another seizure sent him to the hospital. By that time, the nurse had come in and said, okay, he had passed away. Zortman took that grief and turned to running. It was my way of being like, okay, my time's with you. Let's have a little one-on-one -on -one conversation. Just last year, he got a new idea. Spell out words with a running app that tracks his route. September 1st came. Childhood Cancer Awareness Month. First name, out of the box, you know it's going to be Armstrong. Why stop there? So while I'm running Armstrong's name, I'm thinking, I wonder how I can do this for other kids. A human etch-a-sketch. Certain names work better horizontally, others diagonally. Some children are still fighting. Others won't have their names said out loud as often as they should. He wants to create a community. My hope is that people realize that childhood cancer is a thing and that people have gone through it. By sharing the names on social media, he's mapping a path for parents who feel lost. By connecting them, raising awareness, and encouraging donations to fight pediatric cancer. To be able to run and then to be able to keep going has meant a lot to me. There is no guaranteed route in life, but we can plan our steps so we reach others.